ओके हाय हाय वेलकम टू आवर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सो दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट आवर फर्स्ट लेसन इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट आफ्टर द इंट्रोडक्शन सो इन दिस टॉपिक इन दिस वीडियो वील सी व्हाट इज जावा स्क्रिप्ट व्हाट इज एडवांटेज एंड different uh, development tools that we need to write our javascript code so to answer what is javascript javascript is a client side programming language uh, it's lightweight uh, lightweight means its size is uh, relatively smaller than uh, other programming uh, language files uh, and also it's open source so there is no license issue and also it's cross platform cross platform means uh, we can in, uh, we can use our javascript code in uh, different operating systems in windows linux uh, and other uh, mac operating systems and other operating systems as well since op uh, javascript is uh, an interpreted not compiled but interpreted programming language and uh already uh, a built in feature in uh, our browsers different browsers almost all browsers uh, so it's a cross a cross platform uh, programming language we can use uh, mozilla chrome of uh, browsers in multiple operating systems so if we can use those browsers then we can uh, write our java code or we can run our java code so it doesn't matter uh, which operating system we are using if we are doing uh, applications in javascript so uh, this is a little bit the description about javascript now let's see advantages of java javascript why do we need to use javascript so there are a few uh, advantages uh, other than uh, the ones i actually st i already stated in uh, its definition the one uh, and the very important one is it has it provides immediate feedback for the user let's assume we are developing a user registration form and the user is trying to register to our website so after entering all the required information he, uh, the user is, uh, is going to click on save or submit button now if you are not using javascript what we are going to do is we are going to take that input and send it to the server and there we we have to do some validation and error checking like existence uh, checking and some other things like if this user is already existing uh, in our database or not if all the required information is entered or not and also if it's in a, in a correct format like email format and phone number format so if you are not using javascript then when the user tries to submit the data we have to take all that data to the server and if we have we found any problems we have to reply back so which means the user have to wait a send and reply uh, session just to know that you haven't entered the username correctly or your email is not correct so to minimize that uh, boring process javascript will come to picture what we need to uh, what javascript help us here is is provide uh, it enables us to provide immediate response to our user since javascript is built in browsers it doesn't have to go to the browser or go to the, the server to check the data if we are using javascript we can validate and we can compare multiple criteria you know uh, in that form before sending it to the server so the user will get immediate feedback from our interface from our form if she or he is making any simple mistakes to correct the other one is it's a Uh, the other advantage uh, of javascript is uh, it's a client side uh, programming language so it's highly integrated to our browser and also 
easily can 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 easily be integrated to our HTML. So we can uh, write our JavaScript wherever we want to inside our the HTML. So it's flexible to use. Uh, while providing this uh, those advantages, JavaScript has its own uh, fallbacks too. The one in the the major one, uh, I think, is since it's an interpreted language and not compiled, it doesn't tell uh, the Java interpreter doesn't tell uh, the developer the if we can make uh, if we have made any errors while developing. So what it does is it tries to it tries to work. Uh, but whenever, uh, when if uh, if any problem occurs, then it immediately breaks down. So as a developer, it's a, it's it's a drawback because uh, I deployed my application hoping that it works correctly, and like other programming languages like Java and C sharp, uh, Java is not to go, uh, doesn't tell me any compile time errors. So I'm hoping our my application is running correctly and everything I did is right. But when the user tries to use it or when we uh, deploy our project to testers, that's when the misbehaviors started to be noticed. So uh, I think right now, uh, especially for uh, AngularJS uh, applications, they are trying to incorporate JavaScript with TypeScript so that uh, TypeScript will provide this uh, compile time error features. So uh, this is one and only uh, disadvantage that I can tell you about JavaScript. So let's go to another to our another topic. What are the development the development tools available for JavaScript? JavaScript is a simple programming language. It's an interpreter programming language with no uh, editor or development tool requirements. The only thing we need is a text editor. You can use Notepad, you can use Notepad++ or other text editors. You can even use Microsoft Word if you want. But uh, I prefer to use WebStore. So our uh, our training will uh, conduct in WebStorm. You can download WebStorm uh, just by simply searching WebStorm download on your Google. Uh, so it will provide you the latest uh, WebStorm application. Just download the setup and install it. It's a simple installation process. So our development tools uh, for this training will be WebStorm. Uh, Currently, it's a licensed uh, application, but it provide they uh, provide us uh, a one month trial, so we can do that for the training, and we'll find some other means for your uh, future development uh, tasks. Okay, so this is about uh, introduction to JavaScript. In our next uh, lessons, we'll start coding JavaScript using our WebStorm tool. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and also make sure to subscribe to our video channel, uh, YouTube video channel for future video notifications. Thank you.